Hello Boozers and welcome to the next installment of Booze Reviews. Tonight I've got something that's you only see once a year I guess, but you don't see the same thing. Tonight is an anniversary beer that was made for the collective beer shop here in Calgary. Now last year they went and did a collaboration which, with a bunch of local breweries and did the same thing again this year. And this year, like last year, I picked up the one between New Level and Collective. Now they also had some other ones there. I got two of them and a couple of other things. But this one I needed to have. I wanted it because it's a heavier beer and I like my heavier beers. But I've never really, really, really heard of many 10% porters. So yes, coming at 10%, we have Vulgar Display Port of Porter. So it might be a stout, honestly. It's a chocolate vanilla swirl porter between New Level and Collective. And this sounded really interesting. Um, I was asking what it was like and I was told what it was like. I'll share what they said afterwards after I have my few, first few sips to see if they're correct in their assumption. Even though they had it themselves and they, two people said the same thing. But I got a feeling that they were, one person was working off someone else. Let's get into it. Seems like there's a bunch of anniversaries happening because uh, last night there was the anniversary for Prairie Dog and today is the anniversary for Collective. It's gonna happen, you're in, you're out. All right, as you see here, we've got a very dark beer. Two fingers worth of head going on there. And yeah, it's looking pretty decent, looking pretty good overall. Do you like that tan head on there? The smell? Getting chocolate off there. Getting the roast. Getting a lactose, which is common for new level. Getting a vanilla as well. So you do have all the stuff that is inside what they say, chocolate, vanilla, swirl. Granted, I'm not seeing a swirl in the beer. What? It says swirl. I know, I know. Anyways, let's get into it. Cheers. Oh my God. How am I gonna have a full liter of this? Cool. Holy shit. I should have expected this. Cool. Last year, it was an Irish cream stout. And that blew me away. They said that this one would be as better and it'll blow you away. They're not kidding. That being said, <laughs> I don't wanna know what the calorie count is in this because there's a sweetness in here that is unbelievable. <sighs> yeah, um, this is really good. <sighs> this is really, 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 really good, wow. They're not kidding when they said it tastes like a melted ice cream, because it does. You have an interesting thickness on there. It's not overly thick. Um, the mouthfeel is silky smooth. It does have that sweetness that sort of kicks your tonsils and taste buds. If you have tonsils, even though tonsils don't affect it doesn't affect tonsils i'm wow that sweetness is overpowering there's like a chocolate vanilla sweetness in there 
That, yeah, it tastes like there's a lot of ice cream in here almost. It's got the melted ice cream sort of vibe going on with it. And you get a little bit of the bitterness from the roasted malts at the end. Wow. That is, it's almost sickly sweet, but that bitterness kicks it off a little bit and just sort of dials it back a little bit. But 10%, no, 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 no. I've, I've had half a glass here. No alcohol burn whatsoever, none. Absolutely zero. I'm going to feel this in the morning because this is one of those ones where not only you're going to feel sick from the sugar in there, but you're also going to feel a little hungover from the 10% because this goes down like butter. Huh. Well, this is definitely going to help me out with my night. Oh, yeah. That's really nice. This is a dessert beer, and I'm glad I had food before this because this beer is going to be my only beer of the night, I think. But I got a tequila lime ale in there that I want to try. And that's another liter. Two liters of beer? Yeah, why not? It's Friday night. So folks, have you had this before? What do you think of it? Do you like it? Do you not like it? You can only pick this up this week at Collective. And then starting next week, they do have a couple of, um, of kegs down at New Level that you can pick this up at. I'm going to go with this is one of those heavy doozy boozy beers. Very dangerous. Very, very on top of it. Sweet, but not sickly sweet because that, that bitterness comes in and takes the sweetness back. So until next time, I am PK saying cheers, stay frosty. We'll see you real soon. Thanks again for joining. And um, you guys have yourselves a wonderful night. I know I am. Oh, am I ever. Yeah, I got to finish that tonight. Golfing I go. Cheers.